In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about standardized beta weights and how to interpret them, as well as how they're different from unstandardized beta weights. So in this example, we have the multiple regression associated with education and IQ as predictors of earnings. And I've already done this analysis, so I'm not going to redo it again. It's the method enter multiple regression I did previously. And the standardized beta weights associated with education and IQ were estimated at 0.232 and 0.174 respectively. And in the textbook, I suggest that you can interpret a standardized beta weight to suggest that a one standard deviation increase in the independent variable is associated with a standardized beta weight percentage of a standard deviation increase or decrease in the dependent variable. So that's not the easiest thing to get around in your head. So how can I use these numbers in such a way to make this concrete? Well, let's look at education, for example, that has the standardized beta weight of 0.232. In order to interpret that, I'd need the standard deviations associated with these variables. So let's go into Analyze Descriptive Frequencies and put my variables into the variables box, click on Statistics, and click on Mean and Standard Deviation. You only really need the standard deviations. Deselect Frequency Tables, click OK. All right, so here I've got the 0.232 standardized beta weight associated with education. And it means that a one standard deviation in education, which equals 2.66, so an extra 2.66 years of education completed, is associated with a 0.232 standard deviation increase in earnings. And earnings has a standard deviation of 43,123.6. So let me just push this out to two decimal places to get more accurate results. Okay, so I've got 43,123.58. I need to multiply that standard deviation by the standardized beta weight to get the increase in earnings as a result of a one standard deviation increase in education. So 43,123.58 times 0.232. And that equals $10,004 with some cents. So a, an increase of education equal to 2.67 years is associated with an increase in earnings equal to $10,000, roughly. So that's how you can interpret a standardized beta weight in operational terms. Now let's compare it with IQ. IQ has a standardized beta weight of 0.174, so obviously numerically it's lower. So a one standard deviation increase in IQ, which is essentially 15, standard deviation of 14.93, a one standard deviation increase in, in IQ is associated with a 0.174 standard deviation unit increase in earnings. And I'm saying increase because these beta weights are positive. If they were negative, I'd be saying decrease. So let's estimate that number for IQ. So again, earnings standard deviation, 43,123.58 times 0.174. And that gives me $7,503.50. So a one standard deviation unit increase in IQ, which is 14.93, is associated with an increase in earnings equal to 7,503. So obviously, given that a one standard deviation increase in education is associated with $10,000 increase in earnings, you would say it's more important. So it's not only just more important from a standardized beta weight perspective, but it's more important by about $2,500 for each standard deviation unit increase. Now, whether you can compare a standard deviation of education to a standard deviation in IQ because education is 2.7 years and IQ is 50 in IQ points. For the purposes of this analysis, we're saying that they're equal. Now, whether they're truly equal and comparable is up for debate, but in pure statistical terms, they are comparable. They're one standard deviation associated with each predictor variable. Now, if you looked at the unstandardized beta weights, you would get some sense of the relative importance of each predictor, but it's not really interpretable because they're not on the same scale. So if you look at education, a one unit increase in education is associated with 3,756 extra dollars earnings per year, whereas a one unit increase in IQ is $502 rounded. 
Now, yes, the unstandardized beta weight is suggesting that education is more important than IQ in pure numerical terms, but it's making education look much more important. And that's arguably not fair because education and IQ are measured on entirely different scales. So if I show you the difference between the standardized beta weights, so if I go 0.232 divided by 0.174, it's 33% larger. The education standardized beta weight is 33% larger. Than, but when you look at the unstandardized beta weights, 3756.29 divided by 501.978, it's 7.5 times larger. So obviously, this is making education look a lot more important relative to IQ. And that's simply because the scale on which it's measured is different. It's, the standard deviation is much smaller. So to interpret relative importance of variables, the unstandardized beta weights are pretty much futile with respect to that, especially if the variables are measured on different scales, whereas the standardized beta weights give you some sense of making a comparison.